Ah, Labor Day. It's the unofficial end of summer. An extra day at the beach or one more family barbecue? Here's what it's not. A day Americans use to celebrate the unionized worker. And maybe that's because there are less unionized Americans than ever before. Check out this drop over the last 30 years. From 20% of the workforce in 1983 to just 11% last year. So why is it a federal holiday? Well, Labor Day started not so much as a tribute, but as an olive branch to the American worker. Here's the Cliff's Notes version. Grover Cleveland, the 24th president, was up for re-election in 1896. He deployed over 10,000 armed troops to bust up a railroad worker strike near Chicago in 1894. At least 12 people died. Then, he tried to make peace with them by giving them a day off. But it didn't work, and in 1896, Grover Cleveland was repudiated by his own party. And Labor Day lived on. So this weekend, while you grill up, lay out, and say goodbye to summer, maybe take a moment to thank the anti-labor president, Grover Cleveland, for your long Labor Day weekend.